Sindh province, southern Pakistan. These ruins spanning 250 acres of the Indus River Valley represent one of the earliest civilizations in the world. Known as Mohenjo-Daro, this 4,000-year-old lost city was first uncovered by archaeologists in 1922. Mohenjo-Daro came to a height around 2000 BCE. For some reason, unknown reasons, it was totally wiped out. You know, the whole civilization vanished. Uh, and we do not know why and how. When British archaeologists first excavated Mohenjo-Daro, what they found astonished them. And that was that people were just lying dead in the streets, sometimes uh, holding hands. It was like some terrible doom had just totally wiped out this entire city, and everyone was just instantly dead. In 1979, British researcher David Davenport published startling findings about the demise of Mohenjo-Daro. He revealed that there was a kind of epicenter in the ruins, approximately 50 yards wide, where pottery, stones, and other objects were melted on one side. Many appeared crystallized and fused together, as though subjected to instantaneous extreme heat. Davenport concluded that this ancient civilization must have been destroyed by a nuclear explosion. By finding fused bricks, uh, vitrified walls, pottery vessels that had completely melted, and also skeletons that were calcified, and apparently some of them even still radioactive. He decided that Mahanjo-Daro had been nuked. In Mohenjo-Daro, you find some of the ruins which are simply melted stones, which means extreme heat must be enveloped to melt the stones. At that time, some thousands of years ago, we humans had no extreme heat, so it must have come from a weapon. How could a 4,000-year-old city have been wiped out by a weapon that wasn't even developed until the 20th century? Some believe the answer may lie in the ancient Hindu holy book, the Ramayana of Valmiki, which tells of epic battles with a monstrous weapon called the Brahmastra. Brahmastra is a weapon named after Brahma himself, God Brahma. It has the heat-seeking device put into it and also motion detecting. The fallout from these weapons are reported in the Ramayana as lasting for months and years after the blast. People's fingernails were coming off, people's hair were falling off. Um, so it's got all the signatures of an atomic explosion. The descriptions of the aftermath of the use of the Ramastras sound just like descriptions of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. But could such powerful weapons of mass destruction have existed on Earth thousands of years ago? And is it possible that the city of Lanka, where the ancient texts say the Brahmastra weapon was unleashed, was not a fictional location, but the site known today as Mohenjo-Daro? Those texts are chock full with extraterrestrials or the so-called gods having waged a war up in the sky that our ancestors actually witnessed. 